Hello, my name is David here from Easy Photoscan powered by IOTrack Inc. And today I'm going to show you how to create a searchable PDF using the Presto Page Manager software on a Mac. So let's go ahead and begin here by opening Presto Page Manager. Here in my basic screen is where my PDFs are going to go ahead and show up. Towards the top where it says File, I'm going to go ahead and go into my scan settings. And in here is where I'm going to start to make the changes to go ahead and create a PDF. So uh, the first thing you are going to see is the prefix name and the prefix number. These right now are set to default. You can always change these later depending on the job at hand. Next, you're going to see the save as type. In here, you'll have a couple of options, JPEG, TIFF, PNG, bitmap, and PDF. So of course, we're going to select PDF. Now when you select PDF, you're going to have an options bar show up right underneath that. And when we go into here, you're going to see a couple of other choices for you to make. Starting with the save document as. Right now we have our set to create a new PDF for each document. You can also save all the documents in one PDF depending on what you would like to do. So for today's demonstration, we're going to go ahead and create a new PDF for each document. The save mode right now I have set to searchable PDF. You can always do image, text and image, but I want to be able to go ahead and maybe highlight some text within the documents that I scanned today. OCR language, there are many languages to choose from. Right now we're going to go ahead and work in English. And my image options here, my document size is set to the original size. You can choose between original size and fit to page. And right now we will do original. And my compression level is set to the minimum level of compression. And we will hit OK. Now beneath that, you're going to see an option for you to select your profile. I have different profiles already made today. And I have created the default as PDF profile for today. And I'm going to show you how to set in your manage profile area how to get the right settings just for this. So we'll begin by clicking the manage profile section here. This is going to open up our dialog box that showed those same defaults previously just now here. I've made the default as PDF already by creating out of uh, the previous default folder before. So I'm going to show you now how to go ahead and make the settings and adjust all of the settings correctly just for a searchable PDF. First and foremost under input document is we have it set to one-sided front. This means that I will be able to scan all of my paper documents face down on the scanner. Right underneath that to the left here it says settings. So we're going to go ahead and go into there. And now at the top, you have a couple of options to choose from, a couple of tabs here, starting with General, Size, Adjust, Enhance, and Detect. Starting in the General area, I have my scanner set to black and white. Most documents that you will work with are black and white. However, you can choose between color 24-bit for maybe some full-color images and grayscale 8-bit. My document type right now is set to text. You can choose between text with graphic and photographs. My media type is plain paper. And my resolution I have set to 200 dpi. Most documents you will scan between 150 to 300 dpi. And for today, we will do 200. Compression type I have set to none. You have the ability to choose none or group four. But because I don't want any compression today, I'm going to go ahead and do none. Now we're going to move over into the size tab. Here you're going to see the document set to automatically detect and straighten. You can set for automatically detect or manually select. The image is the entire document. My border is set to none. And post scan rotation I have set to automatic. This means that because we're creating a text file, the system will automatically know if a paper was uploaded upside down and reorientate it in the file. Here in my Adjust tab, conversion quality is on default right now to best eye thresholding. My filters are both set to none, and I am not scanning any colors today. Under my Enhance area, I have the whole fill filter on. I have some documents today with me that do have some hole punches in them, 
and I will be able to demonstrate exactly how the system handles um, filling in those holes. Image edge fill. I have set to automatic, including tears. You can choose between none, just standard automatic, white or black. My streak filter is turned off right now, and I don't have any colors for today, so this is set to none. Under detect, my blank image deletion is set based on document contact, content. And this basically means that if I have any writing on the back of my documents and I'm scanning two-sided, I can set a percentage of content amount to tell the system when to delete an image and when not to delete an image. Typically, you would start at about 3% and be no higher than 40%. Today, I'm going to go ahead and keep the number here set to 0%. Once you're done getting all of the scan settings adjusted this way, you can go to home. If you're creating a brand new profile, just remember to hit the save icon. And if you're creating from a previous profile, you can hit save as and now retitle it so you can find it in the future. And you'll want to make sure this is selected and hit OK. Now I can see that select profile in my previous scan setting box is set to default as PDF and I'm putting all of my scanned images into my page manager folder, which is where I'm currently located. And I hit OK. Now I have some images already ready to be scanned, and we're going to go ahead and demonstrate again how it's going to show up. <clears throat> and I also made sure that I had an image set upside down. This means that I will be able to demonstrate how the system reacts to a system or to a page that would automatically be put in backwards. I go up to the Acquire tool, and now it says scanning is in progress. And the machine will go a little bit quick, and it takes just a few moments for the images to appear. You'll see the OCR processing has already begun, and it has stacked everything together. In Presto Page Manager, you have the ability to unstack simply by selecting the stacked files unstack, and because I only have the two pages, this is where I'm at. If I double click into one of the pages, you will see this is just a page out of the Kodak manual for the PS50 and 80 for a Mac, and because I've created a searchable PDF, I should be able to highlight just a few of the wording here. Or I can go all the way across. And you will return to Page Manager. Now this second page I actually had upside down, and as I can see in the second page, it went ahead and flipped it right side up. And as it is a searchable PDF, I can select any of the wording that I would like. And also you'll notice there are no holes in the image. These pages were hole punched. Roughly here was a hole. And you can't even tell for the other, other two areas. Now, I do have the ability to restack images, or maybe the other way, or because they're highlighted together, I'm just going to stack them together. And I can do a batch rename. This allows me to create any title that I need, and it's going to rename all of the files within that stack. So for today, I have job 01 with my start number of, we will say, see, do 100, and I will hit OK. And now when I unstack them, it labeled them job 1, 100, and 101. Now if I restack these images, and I switch between the first and the last page, and rename them again, you will see that the page that I switched to the front will now become the first page, and my second page will start as, or what was previous, the first page will not be my second page. OK. And now when I unstack them, my second page is not my first, and my first is not my second. And you can do this with any combination of pages that you like. And that is how to create a searchable PDF using the Presto Page Manager software on the Mac. We would like to thank you for viewing this video, and should you have any questions, please reach out to us at easyphoscan.com, and we will be more than happy to help you.